Chapter 6, verse 9. Fresh from Matthew, chapter 6, verse 9. Begin to read. Know ye not. You know ye not. That the unrighteous, unrighteous shall not. And unrighteous shall not inherit heaven, the kingdom of God. You're not going. That's the Bible. That's the book. Regardless of who you are, you're not going. Hallelujah. All these old Catholic priests in the last few years, swallowing God in his mess here. If you notice, all these old Catholic priests in the last five or ten years, you remember them? It was just every week looked like one of them being caught for molesting children, little boys. Been doing it for years. Didn't prosecute none of them. Shook them on back to the Vatican. Them faggots ain't going to hell and they ain't no preacher either. See? See how the government is? All the, they think something special about Catholicism. They're above reproach. Should have locked them up like do anybody else. I think they won't find that name on a sex abuser bank in America. It's sad. It's shame. Thank you, Jesus. Letting them tell them preachers they can't get married and they're not units and they can't keep themselves and run around having sex with each other. God see that ungodly mess and he's going to judge it. Amen. Know ye not the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Y'all look at your Bible and read it. Follow along. Oh, yeah. Be not deceived. Don't let nobody fool you. Oh, yeah. Read. Neither fornicators. Fornicators. That's single, young people, unmarried folks having sex. Right. College campus is full of them. Yeah. They got co-ed dorms. Yeah. They ain't never shacking dorms. Yeah. Putting them boys and girls together. They ain't got no whole lot more sex going on in them dorms. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And they ain't going to hell. Right. Fornicators having yeah. sex. Okay. You ain't going. And then go to church and got some lying preacher. Well, God know you're human. Uh -huh. Well, he do. He know you're human. He made you. Fornicator's not going. Do y'all believe your Bible? Amen. It's not the preacher. It's the word they're talking to you. Amen. Read it. No idolaters. The idol worshippers. Uh, let me plug Santa Claus. <laughs> go ahead. The biggest idol of the year popping up in a few weeks. Santa Claus is an idol God. That's right. Santa Claus is an idol God. See. He's a lie. Yep. His 25th of December got nothing to do with Jesus' birthday. That's right. Nothing. That's right. The 25th of December, Christmas was ordered to be kept to honor the sun god. Sun god. Mm -hmm. And every time anybody celebrates the 25th of December, you are celebrating an idol god. That's right. And that sound is your god that day. Mm -hmm. If he can go all over the world and give presents to everybody and make him god, mm -hmm. and he can't do it. Reindeers flying through the air, mm -hmm. pulling a sleigh. And he's saying, ho, ho, ho. You've been hoodwinked. You've been had. You've been bamboozled. Yeah, that's right. You had. Y'all better do your research. Oh, glory. In Halloween. Trick or treat. <laughs> That's the devil. That's a demon. That's right. That's right. He said, I done tricked you. And I got a treat. Your treat is with him. And the letter. Y'all yes, better take this serious. This, by this stuff is real. Yes, Read on. Hey. Adulterers. Adulterers ain't going. One of the biggest preachers on TV. One of the biggest preachers on Word Network. Divorce and remarriage. And always talking about him. He wasted his time. Mm -hmm. Always preaching to folks. Oh, the snap is funny. Divorce and remarry. How are you explaining that away? How are you going to explain a daughter away? When God said he that divorce and marry her that divorce shall be committing adultery. Mm -hmm. Shall be called an adultery. And she shall be called an adulteress. Now what you gonna do? Call God a lie? No. That's what people are doing. Calling God a lie. Thank you, Jesus. He's not gonna fly. Read? No effeminate. You know what effeminate is? 
if feminists and lesbians. Now they try to make it sound pretty. It ain't pretty. It's ugly. There's nothing pretty about it. Now they say significant other or partner. No, it's fat and lesbian. That's what it is. It's nasty. It's ungodly. Dogs won't do it. Cats won't do it. Nobody do that but an ungodly human. Try to justify. They all look sick. Skin look bad. They just look terrible. The only thing you can produce is a good dose of the AIDS. That's all you produce is AIDS. Behind that stuff. AIDS. You feel it? Not going to read. No, abusers of themselves with mankind. Do the math. What is that telling you? Abuse themselves with mankind. In the book of Leviticus, the Bible said, man shall not lay with man like he do womankind. That's what he said. The Bible said, it is an abomination. Mm -hmm. It's an abomination before. That's right. Read nor thieves. Thieves ain't going. Nor covetous. Covenant. Want what somebody else got. Covet another man's house. Covet another man's wife. Covet his possession to the point that it becomes sinning. You're not going there. Another Bible says, read. Yeah. Nor drunkards. A drunk drunkards. Can't keep that liquor ball out your face. That wine ball out your face. God saved all of us from something. I tell you all the time on TV. I used to drink that liquor, get drunk. Never did try to justify the mess of carry to hell. Right. Can't justify sin. Ain't nobody right. justify sin. I wouldn't even stoop that low. I wouldn't even stoop that low to try to justify sin. Drunk was not going. Crack is either. God can save you. Amen. Weed, weed smoke was either. PCP, not going. Hair on, needle shooters, you ain't going either. But God can free you. You know why he can free you? This next verse gonna tell you. Read. Nor violence. That's abusers. They're not going either. Read. Nor extortioners. That's Shall a high tech thief. He's not going. Read. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. See, ain't going. Read on. And such words. Now, look, that's what you like. Brothers and sisters, listen. Hallelujah. Paul gave a laundry list. He gave a laundry list of the thing that'll keep you out of heaven. Then he concluded by saying, such were some of you. Mm -hmm. You used to be that. Hallelujah. That's what's good about the Lord. Hallelujah. He'll save you. Yes, sir. Do you, do you, do you believe the Bible? Hallelujah. Paul said, told them people, some of y'all are fans. Mm -hmm. But God saved you. Mm -hmm. Some of you are lesbians. Amen. God saved you. Mm -hmm. Some of you were violent. Mm -hmm. Some of you were extortioners. Mm -hmm. Some of you were drunkards. Mm -hmm. Some of you were dark. Mm -hmm. Some of you were fornicators. But he said, but such were some of you. Hallelujah. But God was merciful. Yeah. You repented of your sins. You got baptized in Jesus' name Jesus. for the remission of sins. And now you used to be that. You're not that no more. Yes, but old hypocrite ain't going to never forget your past. Yes, Young people sitting here now, you can start your walk with God tonight. Yes, and people never going to forget your past. Yes, but guess what? Forget them. They got no hell and they got no heaven to put you in. None. You used to be. We used to be that. He said, such were some of you. But now you're what? You're washed. You're washed now. My God, you went down in Jesus' name and got under that blood. My God, your blood washed. You're washed. Read it. When you are sanctified. You're sanctified. You're set apart. My God, you're set apart for God now. You're justified mm -hmm. in the name of the Lord. My God, Jesus did it. Sin will carry you to hell. That's Jesus will right. take you to hell. Oh, ain't it good to know? Amen. Ain't it good to know your past is just what it is? Your past? Hallelujah. I'm so happy my past is just that. I don't know what to do. Amen. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. Brand new. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody give God a quick praise. Let's go back. 
Go back now to two. Acts chapter eight, verse five. Read. Then Philip 